Hello, welcome to another video. Today, I've come down to a, uh, a privately owned still water in Lancashire, where we're gonna be fishing for a very small head of very, very large tench. Now, it's, an air, it's a pond I've fished a lot before, and I've only ever had one of the big tench from it. I've put in a lot of blanks on here. So we're gonna give it a go, because we've got a few sunny hours this evening after some atrocious weather, and see how we got on with float fishing sweet corn. I'll talk you through the tactics as we go. So, let's give it a go. Well, this is the corner of the lake I'm going to fish. As you can see, it's really, really tense. We've got this big overhanging tree. That's a great feature that I'm going to put one rod up to. We've got all this oxygenating Canadian pondweed here. And we've got all the lilies on the far margin. So there's loads to go for. I'm going to get some bait in because we're still sort of in late summer. And I think putting a bit of bait in will be worth it. And we'll give it a go. Well, I've only had one cast so far float sailed away I thought I might have been straight into one of these big tench but it was this absolutely beautiful roach that's got to be half a pound of roach I'm, I'm really not displeased with that you do pick it up on the corn you don't tend to pick up things like the perch and stuff but quality roach like that I don't mind at all let's get this fish back He's gone. Well, this is a swim I'm fishing. I'm not sure if you can pick out the float. Um, I've shot it very, very finely down to the surface, but it's, it's right in front of the rod tip, just off the corner of that overhanging tree. Now, if I do get a tench or a carp, it's going to be very hook and hole because obviously you've got to really lock down on these fish to stop them getting straight in the lilies under your feet into that tree so I'm not sure if I'll actually get footage of playing it but if I get one don't worry I'll, uh, I'll definitely be filming a piece of camera with it and uh, talking about it so let's keep fishing and hopefully get one. It was at this moment that the float just slid slightly under the surface of the water and held there and a strike sent the rod hooping over. I've only gone and got one in the net. That is fantastic. I've fished so long for these guys and they've been so hard to catch. I'm so happy I've got one. Oh. Well guys, I've got to keep him over this soft grass and over the, the unhooking mat, but I've got one. Just touching six pound. This is the biggest touch I've ever caught in my life. I've put in a lot of blanks for this fish and I am over the moon. I've only been here 15, 20 minutes. This is crazy. But these are really precious fish. I've had him out of the water for a few pictures and for this video. So it's really important I get him back now. Over the moon. One last glance at the fish before we get her back. Just recovering her and it is a her in the net. That is a beautiful tench. Oh yeah, the fish is ready to go. Okay, let's get her back. Bye, baby. That is absolutely awesome. I'm actually shaking. <laughs> well, I am just so, so happy about what happened there. I'm just gonna do, I have no idea. I was probably talking weird. I was dead excited then, but just as a little debrief, I have fished probably getting on for 10 sessions and I've only ever caught one of those carp and it was one of the tents sorry and it was one of the small ones around four pound the room had to go up to sort of eight ish in here and that I just caught a six pounder which was my target I wanted a six and that one was just touching six pound you couldn't have written it so I'm so happy to have caught one I've spent ages on here I was getting up at 4 a.m every day for ages shouldn't have done it I was pressuring the water I was fishing running ledges just pop down for a little evening session I'm float fishing corn and, and it happens so just if you're worried if your campaign's not working I guess just relax just take a step back and just approach it easily and don't worry about it and, and it's just worked out for me and I'm over the moon it's just gonna seem like a, a little one tent fishing video but for me it's been like a whole summer campaign and I, I've picked such a good day to film so I'm really really happy with that I'm gonna carry on fishing now just uh, dropping into these 
off this overhanging bush towards these lilies, but if I, nothing else happens, <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> that tench made me realize something that I might be able to give you as a tip and I've heard this a lot about um, summer tench, late summer tench fishing. That bite wasn't a sail away at all, it was a tiny little dib on the float, nothing more that I struck at and because of that I think if you were fishing running ledger rigs you wouldn't get the indication at all. It just wasn't a, a proper take, it was a tiny sensitive little bite and for that reason certainly for late summer fishing I would steer you away from sort of bolt rigs, running ledger rigs on the bottom and, and more I think float fishing and quiver tipping will be the way to go. Just a little tip, if not obviously do whatever works for you but that's what I'm learning and I think that would be a, a good tip. Well that's it guys, I've just packed up. The witching hour is just coming to an end behind me. I could fish a little bit more, but I'm happy with how I've done. I have had a fantastic session. I've just been sitting here watching the house martins, you know, drink and eat the flies, eating the blackberries off the bush next to me and uh, catching a really big tench. I'm sure this is not going to be sort of as popular as the big tote videos and things like that, but this has been the best session I've had for a long time and I've really enjoyed it. So I'm glad I managed to share it with you some bits, as I say, sorry that I I couldn't film the fight, but you really can't have any sort of compromise when you're fighting these fish as, in as sort of tight quarters as I am here. But I've had a fantastic session. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Please like and subscribe for any more videos, and I will hopefully see you next time.